Happy New Year, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your January tarot scope. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any placement that resonates with you. Or if you're just here because you like my videos and want to listen to the messages, you're very, very welcomed. Um, my name is Morgane. I want to send my gratitude to our new subscribers that joined the tribe and to my existing subscribers that has been loyal. I love you all very much. Let's get to it. Scorpio for January. A collective of Scorpio seekers who are watching me. First two cards, Page of Swords, Five of Wands. So someone is being petty, looking to stir up a fight, um, not in a very mature way. They use a lot of words that mean nothing and you're just like, maybe you're doing that, Scorpio. <laughs> um, but I find the energy is more annoying than it is dangerous. It's just like, I feel you guys are like, you're so, um, you're so above it and, 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 you're, and you're reading it or listening to it or watching it and you're like, I wonder if this person knows how frighteningly unaware and ridiculous they are. I don't know what this is, but sorry, it's, it's like a little bug that won't stop. You know those flies? That, okay, you think you've got them, you think they're done, you think maybe they're out the window or they're drop dead somewhere. No, they're somehow they come back and zzz, to suck your blood or life force. It, 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 it's it's I ah uh, I'm sorry, I'm this I'm tapping into an energy leech. Someone who won't let go, who uses very um very childlike, manipulative, silly techniques to get what they want, but they never get what they want and never works for them and they don't have the capacity to learn. <laughs> oh. Sorry if you're going through it, Scorpio. Scorp, Scorp, Scorpio. Yeah, just like it's it's annoying arguments that you're like, I don't really want to do this. It's so immature. It's such a waste of my time. Like I, I feeling I feeling someone like being like, oh, really? Like, can you get a life? Sorry, I am. If you're not resonating, hold on. Oh, nine of wands. Yeah, it's like I see someone really, really trying to breathe deep and be patient in the face of something really an, like an annoying, annoying, I'm sorry, like like a disturbance that keep coming. Nine of Wands tells you to hold on, to endure, to be the big, bigger person, the emperor. Now you wanna know what's funny? This individual right here, Page of Swords, they are. They think they're they're this. That's how unaware they are. They think they're this um, master, mature, in control, owning life kind of sexy motherfucker, and they're like, oh. I'm getting someone really ridiculous that thinks they're a big shot, um, talk like a big shot, but like talk a big. A big talk but no walk like just an empty vessel oh my god I'm so sorry you're handling this um, you guys are this emperor 100% uh, emperor used to be in, in, in more older versions of the tarot um, um, ruled by uh, Pluto Scorpio energy so it can be Mars and Pluto it can be uh, the Aries and the Scorpio, either or. I'm getting this is you in this reading, Scorpio. Like, um, and 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 listen, 
if you're a cross watcher that is in the vibe of what I'm describing right now that is experiencing it, or if you're a cross watcher to Scorpio and you're doing that to Scorp, my God, can you just back off? Can you just go? Get, I'm sorry. Oh, if you're cross watching and you like me and you're watching me for messages, here's the thing this is not serving you, this behavior. By the way, I'm not shading Page of Swords. Page of Swords can be awesome. It's just the, um, the interaction with the cards and the channeling. So um, it's just what it is right now. It's like someone holding a sword way bigger than their body weight. They can't really handle it. They can't really fight it. They don't really know what they're doing. So they're just swinging it around. And it's not even scaring people. Like people are around like watching them like, The real emperor in the story, the one that is just quiet and in control of himself, not tries to control the others, but actually control. This is an individual that don't have self-restraint or self-control, so they try to control everything around them to gain back a sense of control. And this is someone that isn't even trying, they're in control. They have a very strong backbone. They're like in their power stance and they're like, be gone fly. Ace of Swords, yeah, be cutting. Don't take that BS. Queen of Swords, be very discerning. Don't take any BS from anybody. Um, don't let it get to you. I know it's easier said than done. Just don't let it get to you, Scorpio. Um, uh, there is very strong air energy the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords, um, you have a certain vision. You have a certain um, mindset. And you need to keep your focus on that. Keep your eye on the prize, Scorpio. Don't let other things like kind of take away your, your, your focus and your energy because you're, you're working on something or you're planning something or you're doing something and it's good and it's great. Um, and I, I'm sensing a tunnel vision. It could be a financial endeavor, something that can reap a lot of rewards. If you are working on something, if you've been working on something and you had some challenges in the face of like annoying people trying to be in your way, it will all just leave your sphere by the end of January coming February. And that's when you'll see results uh, with the Ace of Pentacle. It's very tangible. There's, there, there, there's, there's two Aces already. In, oh. That's interesting. Five of Pentacles right after the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, one thing that comes up, we'll see if something else will come up, um, is philanthropy. Like uh, the Queen of Swords is, is, is high ideals and, and values. Um, the Ace of Swords brings like a sense of a mission. The Emperor is like, the, he's very much in control and and very much stable with his funds, especially if it comes with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so maybe there's someone in your environment that is in the Five of Pentacles that you want to reach out and help to. Um, maybe it's an organization. Maybe it's not like someone close to you, but it's like you want to... Uh, I, I, I see uh, donation or uh, philanthropy or, you know, when you fund something... Um, you fund an idea or um, what is this what else could it be explain this five of pentacles please three of swords okay i need more show me more explain to me five of pentacles three of swords five of pentacles. ten of wands in the reverse okay Eight of Pentacles and the High Priest, the Hierophant, I'm sorry. Some of you are carrying a burden, I don't know if it's an emotional or moral guilt kind of thing, burden of something that didn't work out or that failed or some sort of loss. Um, 
which you, you you're holding on to the guilt from it because you feel responsible maybe it's this nine of wands here like standing holding you see here they're holding the wands they, they treat they try to hold on they try to keep it alive or keep it you know maintain it somehow but it just it slips under their hands and it's lost and there's a very hard time of letting go of that of that failing to um, either save something or help something or maintain something oh uh, okay if someone that you know if someone that you know have went through a medical uh, surgery or treatment or something like that um, and obviously you paid you paid for it maybe you've helped someone that was going through something um, and it didn't help or it didn't succeed or um, I, I, I see some of you like carrying that with you there's nothing you can do about it anymore like maybe some of you needed outside help with something financial to help someone or to like oh this is coming up in many in, in several readings um, okay you know what else I'm seeing I see like um, investing putting in money and, and like possibly a medical situation or like to try and fix and heal something and now there's the healing process but financially it may have been um, very demanding and you're now trying to kind of cut your losses and you know tell yourself that you had to do it which you did but I see you bouncing back pretty quickly you're, you're really doing the right thing you believe that you did the right thing I am encouraging you and telling you that you did the right thing if this is your situation and, and you're bouncing back, you're working on regaining what it is that you've invested in, that you put in. Um, and, and you're being pretty accurate about it, you're, you're really um, guided the right way, you're, you're doing the right steps. You're really on top of things, I, 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 I'm getting you like working on something, planning, looking ahead, following your intuition, being practical and mature about things and wise. It's like, you know, you see the vision, but you also see the steps. So it's a good balance, good work balance or something. So if you're going through a little bit of sense of a loss, could be emotional loss or financial loss or something that you have to put in energy or investment in um, I see you really uh, bouncing back from it and regaining what was lost mm. it's interesting I, I can uh, amazing how we relate to things so my dog Oliver uh, was a Scorpio and he went through a surgery a month and a half ago and I had to put in a lot of money on it and some of you my seekers know because some of you actually donated and that was a life savior and unfortunately it, di it didn't it didn't um, it didn't work he passed away on the table on the surgery table uh, but then that <laughs> it's what it is you still have to <laughs> still have to pay the bill um, so this actually speaks to me in a way like I'm not a Scorpio but my dog was a Scorpio so this is kind of it's interesting let me know how this resonated with you or if I just tapped into to mine uh, <laughs> it's amazing I always ask to uh, bef before I press play when I you know try to tap into the energy of the collective of the zodiac that I'm going to give a reading for then I um, I asked to take myself out of the equation and, and just give the messages for 
the collective that is watching but here's the thing i don't it's probably not even possible because we all have all the zodiacs in one way or another in our chart and within us we're so much more than just our sun sign um and this is coming from my energy because i'm doing the reading so i guess it's inevitable <laughs> it's just what it is okay but let's keep going and connect this to you guys so ideally i would like to have um maybe three more cards for january for scorpio please thank you Yay, nine of pentacles right after the eight of pentacles so that's wonderful yeah don't so this five of pentacles i'm not worried about um it's not really a loss actually so it's 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 um not financially anyway if it was then it bounces back you're good um let's see two more please two more for scorpio Uh, the Hermit, okay. The Hermit right after the Nine of Pentacles. There's an element of solitude here. So I want one more, please. One more card, Scorpio, thank you. The Lovers. Yeah, so I see you guys really um, focusing on your work and on your vision and whatever it is that you're... That is your life right now and you're really going within while you do the actions you're also very um internal and inner when it comes to like you're analyzing and you're processing and you're discerning and you're thinking and you're uh doing a lot of uh, spiritual i see even philosophy like like work inside because you you feel like um you feel like this is a, a turning point in your life potentially like you might want to choose a new direction or follow a specific direction and you're really thinking okay how can i sum this aspect um the best way possible and properly and make room to start something new with the lovers it's a choice and path um i also see two people who are together but apart in a very interesting way um so if you love someone and you feel them that they're far away from you either because physically like geographically they're far away or because you've lost them and then and now they're in, in just a different energetic form um you're still together like you're never really separated um the body is an illusion this is this is this is wow this is very much for me as well and The guidance is to allow yourself to be together and alone, to allow yourself to have a, a dual mindset um, until things just kind of line up into one um, mind frame path. Um, but allow yourself to not burden yourself with um, either self-judgment or guilt um whatever this was there's nothing you can do about it anymore it's done so best thing for you to do is to really focus on your journey on your work on your daily mundane life i'm getting mundane life very you know eight nine the hermit is very inner the hermit you know people think it's very spiritual and he is he is very spiritual but it's also very psychological it's a part of self-awareness it's not necessarily trying to understand the planets it's trying to understand the self you know we drum we jump so high into trying to understand the universal spirit and the collective consciousness and divination and energies and healing and that and we forget we have our own mechanism to take care of that's the foundation of our existence here um the subconscious the mind the heart those are not detached from our spiritual journey they are the basics the foundations of our spiritual journey so is feeling independent and free and um and secured in this uh, material world the world of matter um, once you feel that once you have that sense of belonging security 
being rooted to a structure um, structured mindset. Now, when I say structured mindset, that doesn't mean you have to be religious. That doesn't mean you have to have a nine to five. It means you have to be tapped into your structure. What is structure for you? Okay. Um, and then the road will open up and then you will be able to see the next step, the next journey, the next episode. Um, I have three nines here. Yeah, there's a, there's um there's solitary into and from a place that wants to um really uh, what's the word when we uh when we really understand a lesson when we really when when it sinks when it really sits down in our psyche and in our mind and we're like yes okay I have made the understandings i know what it was about only then there's the ability to move on let go and move on and, and move forward but you're you're really in that place of really um like taking a few steps back into yourself to just fig make sure that you've that it all sits well so you can just so you'll be able to see the next step um, so that's what January is about, is finishing up cycles. Three nines, yeah. And then I also have two aces. So after that comes very brand new beginning. A very new sharp mindset, uh, a new sense of belonging and being rooted. I'm very proud of you guys. Some of you have done a really, really good work. Um, a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of dark nights of the soul, and this is another nine, nine of swords. So I have three slash. Okay, let's do the what I what I I do. Why, why don't I just go there? Okay, so now I'm gonna do what I normally do in my monthly extended. Uh, for January, your monthly extended is actually the yearly extended, um, meaning 2019 Ministers of Magic link is below in the information box, which includes messages for January, but also for the remaining months. Um, and watch him call it. And so now I'm going to show you a little taste of what I do in my regular monthly extended that I will resume um, in um, for February. So I take the numerical aspect of the of the reading, like repetition of numbers. You know, we do some numerology and the elements, aka in this situation, like so. I'm taking the majors, um, and I only have. One three, one eight. Oh, this is another nine. One ten. So I'm going to bring them back. And this is basically a new reading. Now, if this was the actual extended on Vimeo, you would also have right after that this um, a new shuffle of a Celtic cross, which is a blue brand new reading of ten cards. Um, and then I finish up with runes. So now you'll get a chance to check it out. So you'll have like a two-in-one kind of thing. You're getting the yearly extended for the regular extended. Uh, and this and a taste of part of my other extendeds here on uh, YouTube instead of Vimeo. Okay, four, five, six, and then another nine. Okay, why am I sorting it this way? One one can be looked at as eleven. Five five or fifty five. Three nines, nine, 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 or yeah, you know, nine hundred and ninety nine. Now I'm putting the hermit right underneath it because the hermit is also nine. And I'm putting the hierophant right underneath the five because the hierophant is five as well. So basically we actually have three fives and four nines and something nice that i want to point out the emperor the hierophant and the lovers is four five six okay can you see it well i hope so
Okay, there's a brand new um, beginning and a real change of course of events. Like I think the, um, I don't have the moon card or anything or any Capricorn stuff, but um, but I think like the, um, the eclipses in Capricorn in January on the 5th, because I have a lot of 5th here, are going to be very meaningful for you. Like, you, 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 you'll... Oh, I keep losing that word that I was looking before that is so relevant. You keep understanding. You'll, you'll keep have realizations. And watch it at the end of January so you'll really be able to connect what I'm saying here and, and resonate more. Um, you'll constantly have, like, aha moment, a Rika moment of how things are changing and how you're changing and how your situation is different and, and what you've learned from it transmuted is that what it is transmuted i don't know um and, and all these understandings and kind of changes in your reality are really starting will start to ease your mind a little bit so right now if there's a little bit of conflict inside your head like um disharmony you feel un not at ease like you keep having to stand up for like this annoying mosquito for example that keeps nagging you or uh things you need to finish up in order to let go in order to be able to start the new year uh easier and cleaner um you're doing good work you're doing what you need to do be patient with yourself like do the things that you need to do just don't judge yourself because you're i, I see you really on top of it making proper decisions um progressing really well you're really in tuned with yourself and you're really in tuned with your environment and you know how to handle things so just hold on through the endings because the endings that you're the things that you're wrapping up now are coming up with a little um uh, sense of unease it's a little uneased it's a little bit annoying <laughs> it itches a little bit like there's there, there's a sense of discomfort but you're really in control. You're really on top of things. You have good advisors. You're good at advising yourself. You're good at advising others. Um, resilience is being dropped, especially more towards end of January, beginning of February. Um, four nines. Oh, some of you are in an extreme sense of isolation and you're really secluding yourself um i feel like it's from a conscious place like you're, you're just trying to get things done wrapping things up so you you feel like you have to seclude yourself so you're just detached from people situations that are not really really accurate and resonating with the goal the higher goal or what it is that you want to do um You need to endure through it because it's this is just inevitable it's like it's 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 an inevitable step towards this new beginning or feeling more aligned with what it is that you're working on um relationship wise i don't know i feel like it's there but it's not there like it's in the background but it's not necessarily the 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 focal point um and if it is the focal point, then I feel like you're, you might be a little bit off. It's like, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, unless you really don't resonate with this. And then please watch your other placements. Some of you are on a journey of awakening. Um, and you're kind of in between the worlds of the material world, you know, the the mundane human that you are, your job, your relationships. Um, and then there's also the spiritual you, you know, the and the philosophical you. And, and you're like trying to find balance between these uh, two states of mind. So you're really discerning with anything else that might be irrelevant. And that's okay. I guess that's the month for you to do that. Eleven, eleven. I have your one, one, which is eleven, and also I have eleven cards on the table. Yeah. 
two elevens and four nines. Yeah, um, some of you are really completing a spiritual um, learning. Like you've really incorporated, incorporated, <laughs> you've really incorporated um, some sort of knowledge or um, expansion, mind expansion, and you're now trying to kind of fit it into your daily life and tasks and connections and communication. You're trying to connect, you know, um, like rise, you try to have your life like rise up to, to that. Um, and I feel like January is that month where you work on it, right? That transition. And you really start feeling like it's a, a new flow towards February. All right. Let's finish up with a message from the runes. How far along are we? A lot of nines and a lot of elevens. Yeah, you, you, are, you are definitely expected to learn something, let go of it, and move on. Let go of the lesson and move forward. Um, I guess I'm right, Ace of Swords. <laughs> Scorpio, Scorpio Seeker for January. Happy New Year. Three rooms for Scorpio. Mungo, beautiful. Could be the letter W in case it says something to you. Scorpio. Tourisas, which is similar to Wungo, only just have like this little edge on top. And Gebo. Okay. Good. All right. So the way to handle whatever strife it is that we saw is by maintaining positivity and be taking the higher ground and just not cooperating with it. I mean, I'm not saying roll over and play dead. If someone comes at you, be like, uh uh. But do it in a sense of like, you're on top of it. Like, like don't, don't exude fear or insecurity. Be like, I'm positive that I'm okay. I know I can handle this. I got this. This is, this is not even, like I said, this is just a little bug. Um, and that will bring a major gift. Now, normally Gebo speaks about partnership, love, union, especially with Wungo. It's a very, very happy union and love. Um, in this case, I want to add, even though that's possible, what I mostly see is uh, the gift of knowledge, like the gift of um, being being bigger than you were, um, like accepting, um, being like like a tap on your shoulder, like good job, you 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 pulled through, you, you passed the test. Um, like the, like it, it, it's like a, um, a leap in frequency. Like if you manage through this with self-assurance and positivity and not being rattled by it, then it's like your higher self will be like, good job. Now we can move on to the next uh, part of the journey. And you're going to feel it. You're going to feel like it's a gift. And also this could be a month of literally gifts. Like I don't know if you're getting late uh, uh, holiday presents or some sort of recognition or awards for something that you did well. Um, but you will need to exert um, self-restraint, patience, inner strength, taking the higher ground. And if you'll do that, it will be really worth the while. For example, if you'll be patient with something and not lose your temper, uh, let's say you don't lose your temper with your boss even though they're annoying then you'll end up getting that promotion or that project it, it, things like that it could be small like that it could be spiritual and energetic like what i described in, before that um Tuvisas can be th gebo gifu can be g these are hematite by the way the stone very grounding very um it helps uh, blood flow and blood circulation I don't know why I'm in a mood to give you another message. I'm going to give you the Akashic Tarot. Guys, by the way, in the information box beneath, not only we have the link to your yearly extended, um, which I, I, dis I dissected 
it by the months. Like there's messages for each month uh, from runes, oracles, and, and uh, tarot. And uh, not only the after tarot, but there, we also have there the um, Celtic tarot as uh, clarifiers. But um, you also have under there, over there, um, link to schedule a private reading with me. And you also have Tarot Masterclass, online Tarot Masterclass, where you study about the cards at your own pace, whichever card you want to start with. I recommend from the beginning, of course, but it's up to you. And yeah, all that magic is below. Okay, message from the Akashic Tarot for my Scorpio. Thank you. Oh, this resonates. Seven of Keys, the Ascent. So, so keys. there we go, here it is, the ascent, all right, a man stands atop a mountain with a rope draped over his shoulder, metal stakes known as pittons remain in the steep cliff face that he has climbed, evidence of the difficult path of his ascent. The rope and pittance may have been the physical keys necessary for his achievement, but so were his hard work and resolve. This card shows that with great effort and determination, you can apply yourself to your goals for assured success. Though there may be some risks involved, you can reach the top. There could be a promotion, did I not say it? There could be a promotion or an advance uh, to a much higher position coming. Understand, however, that it isn't just luck or external influences, but your own hard work and application that bring the achievement you seek. So keep your efforts strong. Instead of being passed by, you will climb to the heights. I love how it resonates. Okay, guys. Great. Thank you so much for being around. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is your opportunity to join my tribe of seekers. Um, Happy New Year. I'll see you in the extended and I'll see you in February. Bye for now.